few years ago, I went on my first silent retreat. Now in college, I had been on many retreats before and they were great opportunities of camaraderie, of building communion with one another, of having lots of fun and a little bit of silent prayer mixed in. But my first year with the Friars, I went on a week long silent retreat in which I did not speak to anyone, but for 10 minutes once a day. It was unbearable at first. Now, I love God, and I love to pray, or at least I thought. And I thought that it was going to be wonderful to have this whole week just to think, just to pray, just to spend time with God. But what I found almost immediately, within five minutes, was that I was bored, and I had no idea what to do. Sometimes we find ourselves so overstimulated, always with our phones, always with television, always with something to do, that when we finally have that time of solitude, that time of silence, we're just lost. Maybe some of you are feeling this right now, all the time in the world to pray, but you just don't know what to do. If this is the case, I have two recommendations. The first is to set a schedule. It may sound strange to set a schedule with God, but I think it's important if you're gonna sit there for 30 minutes for an hour, not to just to sit there and hope to see what happens, but say for the first 15 minutes to read scripture, and the second 15 minutes to pray for all the problems of the world, and the third 15 minutes to do something else, whatever it might be. To structure that time can give you a sense of direction, and I think that's very helpful. But I think the second point is even more important. Have persistence. It's not gonna be easy at first. Just like getting up and running a marathon, you're not gonna be able to do it right away. And so that first five minutes, that first 15 minutes might be a struggle. The first week might be difficult. But the more you practice at it, the more you silence your mind and your heart and listen, the better it will get.